I just finished watching Black Adam. It is currently 6.30 a.m. <laughs> this is going to be my non-spoiler review. There are no spoilers in this. The footage in the background is from trailers. Do not worry about seeing anything from the film. If you haven't seen it yet, there are no spoilers. It's my honest thoughts of the film. We're going to jump right into it. This is easily my favorite superhero film of all time. I, I was blown away. I knew this film would be good. I had a feeling it would be good. But when the critics came out and people were talking about it, I, I kind of lost a little bit of hype. But all those critics were idiots. <laughs> I mean, the CGI in this film was amazing. I didn't even watch... Like, it wasn't the best quality of what I was watching on. But... It looked amazing nonetheless, so I can't imagine watching it in a theater and, you know, all that, what it actually looks like, but, or when it comes to HBO Max, what it'll look like even then, but the CGI was off the charts, I mean, it, it was amazing, the story was amazing, the writing was, like, ten times better, um, than what I thought it would be, um, The Rock... I mean, everyone in this film was amazing, but The Rock, this feels like a role that he played. It doesn't feel like a, you know, a role that's him, right? Even though it really is. <laughs> I mean, no one can play Black Adam, right? No one can. Um, besides The Rock, and he proved that in this film. I think it is easily one of the best roles The Rock has had and easily one of the best films Dwayne Johnson has had um I mean it, the JSA uh, again every, everything I'm talking about we've learned in trailers um the JSA featuring Hawkman Dr. Fate Adam Smasher Cyclone I mean it was an amazing group and the chemistry between every single person was amazing um, the, there was a lot of comedy, which I was not expecting <laughs> in this film. That was the last thing I was expecting was comedy. Um, but there was a lot of comedy. I'm very glad there was, because in that, towards the ending of the film, it got very serious. So I feel like to prevent it from being a super dark film, <laughs> um, they, they brought in comedy in the first, like, half and the back half you know we dove into the serious part of the film that's not a bad thing that's a good thing and I love when films do that especially because you know they know in advance what's going on right so if they do that especially with Black Adam being a two hour movie now when I heard it was two hours I was like oh this might not work out well it might be a little bit dragged out it wasn't I am very hypocritical of films when they're kind of over two hours. Especially when it comes to a superhero film. Because they can always drag it out. We saw Avengers Endgame with three hours. Kind of dragged out. <laughs> Let's be real. Um, you know. And that's easily one of the biggest movies of all time. One of the longest movies of all time. And I, a lot of Marvel fans agree. That film was not the best. So... And the Batman was amazing. And it wasn't really dragged out. I don't know how long that film was. Probably two hours. But I'm always a little bit skeptical of superhero films. Because, I mean, we have DC shows right now. Like The Flash, Arrow, Samuel Lois, Stargirl, uh, Supergirl when it was on, Arrow when it was on. They all drag out <laughs> most storylines, right? So, I mean, coming from that field, I was like, okay, this ain't gonna end well. You know, there'll be a little bit dragging out, but the film will still be amazing. There was no dragging out. Like, they got to the point. There were really no side stories. Um, everything was part of the main plot. Everything from Black Adam's history, or Teth Adam's history. Uh, we learned that in the trailer, too. It's also brought up in the film a few times. Um, how he got the name Black Adam, uh, the history behind that is amazing. Um, how he got his powers and 
all that. It, it changed throughout the film. I'll say that. How he got his powers changed. And I didn't mind it because we never... The second time it changed, it changed twice throughout the film. The second time was from Black Adam himself. The other times were myths. Myths. Can't talk. <laughs> and so I think it tied more into the film when it did that. And I'll talk about it more in my spoiler review. But we've also learned that in the trailers as well. That where his powers actually come from. But as a myth, it's something different. And to dive deep in that, like this film did was something I was not expecting, but I was so glad they did. <laughs> um, I'm trying very careful to say stuff because I want to say a lot <laughs> right now, but I'm not. I really want to. Um, oh, God, I I love this film. I, I I'm still like blown away. Like I've never been this excited leaving a film. Like, I haven't. I I cannot tell you waking up at 4 a.m. to watch this movie. <laughs> and I was just, like, full-blown tired. <laughs> and started watching the movie, and I was blown away. I was overly hyped up by what they did. Yeah. <laughs> um, th I'm surprised the movie was PG-13. Or, like, you know, PG, period. I don't know the exact rating, but I know it's pg I, I'm blown away that it was, because they showed stuff that probably shouldn't be PG-13, but they said that they took a lot out, and I believe it. <laughs> um, but nonetheless, it was still an amazing film for a PG superhero film here. <laughs> you know? Um, I would have loved to see it in like an R-rated, where they can do more discussing things. I think that would have been so cool to get with Black Adam. But... I am satisfied with the movie that we got. Um, there's something I can really nitpick. I mean, everything tied in. Everything made sense, right? Like, there's nothing out of place in my eyes. The JSA came together with, you know, Dr. Fate, Cyclone, Am Smasher, Hawkman. And we saw one of the trailers who the actual big bad is. It's the... Um, Hell guy, I think we learn his name in the movie. I don't know if it's in the trailer, so I'm not gonna say it. But he's literal hell. I mean, you know, he's the villain in the film, and we learn that in the trailer. But how that all tied in to the movie was amazing. And I mean, The Rock said he put in all effort on this film. And you can see it. You can see the passion that he puts into this film more than he did anything else. I mean, easily the best real film, period. For me, easily the best. Um, I don't know what else can top this. I mean, they could do a Black Adam for Superman film. I, I would probably still prefer this over that. <laughs> I mean, I would love to see Black Adam for Superman, but I was not expecting this film to be this good, and I went in this film, like, just with so many expectations, was, like, just overly hyped up. Like, if you watch my videos, I talk about it. If you follow me on Twitter, I talk about it. I am overly excited for this film every single time I talk about it. All of my expectations met... And then some. <laughs> like, it went over my expectations. I was not expecting everything that happened in this film to happen. The way it did. Um, some people were saying it's predictable. I didn't think it was. Maybe because I wasn't actually trying to predict it. Um, I'm sure if I wanted this film being a critic, um, like most uh, people have, I it might have been a little bit predictable. Especially towards the end, you know, because, again, you'll see when you watch if you haven't watched it already. It might have been a little bit predictable if you're really looking into it. But, I mean, there were so many twists and turns that you would really only be able to predict one thing. And that thing is Black Adam. That's all I'll say about that. <laughs> like, everything else, it's just twists and turns. Not only in the ending of the film, the last, like... 15 to 20 minutes, but
but the entire film are twists and turns. And again, I'll talk about that in my spoiler review, but holy shit, <laughs> it is so refreshing. Do you have a DCU film that's actually part of the DCU? Because the Batman isn't. The Batman 2022 with Robert Pattinson, that's not part of the DCU, I'm pretty sure, unless it changed it. But, I mean, it is so refreshing to get a film as a DC fan that's actually recognizing the fans. <laughs> I've made very clear how I feel about the DCU. I do not care about it because... I feel like it just started off bad with Man of Steel and it just got worse and worse and worse and worse. And it did with Justice League and Batman vs. Superman not really being that great. I mean, Wonder Woman, it was kind of good, kind of not. It was like 50-50. I mean, you can tell that this film is setting a new era for the DCU. I said it months ago when everyone was saying, oh, this film won't be good. I said it would be good, and it would change DCU forever, and it did. This film rose standards that can never be topped in a DCU film again. They can release a sequel, which I'm pretty sure it was announced last night, uh, the night before Black Adam comes out, that they're already working on Black Adam 2, from what I've heard. I don't know if it's confirmed, I don't, I, it's probably rumored, but... Some source reported again. I didn't. I don't remember the source, but if it's true, I mean, great. <laughs> I think the only way DCU can keep going now is just keep putting out Black M films and put Black M in films. I think that's the only way it'll actually work <laughs> for Black Adam and then DCU. I mean, I I'm just so blown away. I know I said that like four different times, and we're like. 12 minutes into the video, but I am still hyped up. <laughs> I'm still smiling. I've never been like this after a film. I, I'm always like, I'm not a critic, but I always look at the film and when I'm done watching it, I think to myself, was this a good story? Was this not? And it's like a 12 minute long video right now <laughs> and I'm still thinking about it and my thoughts haven't changed. The story was amazing. The writing was off the charts amazing. I mean, Black Adam himself as a character, his development was amazing. I mean, we learned everything about him in two hours compared to, you know, under two hours even because not every single scene had Black Adam in it. Most of the scenes did, <laughs> um, which I'm very happy about, but... Most films, you don't even learn everything about a character in three hours. It takes them two movies to fill that in. And they made that two hours work for them. And they made it work beautifully. It felt like everything was a rush. But that's not a bad thing. It may sound like a bad thing. And if it's not for you, you won't like this film in a lot of ways. Because I've seen a lot of people say, oh, it's an okay film, it's a good film. You know, The Rock is amazing as Black Am. That's what all the reviews are saying. Everything's praising The Rock, as it should. But not a lot of reviews are praising this film. And a lot of people are taking that as, oh, the film wasn't great. I think the film was amazing. But the only way you can figure it out for yourself is if you go and watch it yourself. Um... Now, my spoiler review will most definitely be out <laughs> um, Sunday night. I'm going to wait a few days just to give people time to watch it. That way, I'm not spoiling anything for you guys. And you can watch it in a few days. Only by then, a lot of you will have watched this film. But I want to do this review, especially after like Ron Tomatoes released that stupid 55% score on the film, which is completely and utterly disrespectful and stupid. Because you know all the people in that group that were watching it that gave it 55%, they don't know superhero films. They never do. That's why Ron Tomatoes was never really accurate with anything. <laughs> um, but I've made very clear how I feel about this film in my trailer breakdowns when I was talking about Henry Cavell possibly appearing in the film. Um, 
I mean, I, I made very clear that this film, I, I'm overly excited about it. I made that clear for months, right? And it all paid off. If you've been excited for this film, you will be excited. Um, every expectation that you would get from this film, it paid off. Now, I'm not going to talk much about the post credit. I wish it didn't get leaked. <laughs> Um, and if I wasn't so nosy, I wish I didn't watch it, but it was still exciting to watch. So if you haven't seen the post credit scene, stay till the post credit scene. If you even saw the post credit scene through a leak, watch it. <laughs> it's not the best part of the film. Was it exciting? Oh, hell yeah. But it wasn't the best part of the film. I think the best part of the film, and I'll talk more about this in my review when I'm breaking the movie down. Um... Was just the entire film. <laughs> I can't tell you what part of my film was the favorite. I can't. And it's not because it's a non spoiler review. I legitimately don't know my favorite part of the film. I'm still blown away. I'm still so blown away with this film. It should not have been this good. <laughs> I don't think it should have been this good. But it was. I am I just I'm so happy at how this film turned out. And it did turn out, and it, it's amazing. And I, again, I've said this earlier, but I've never been a massive fan of DCU and the films that they put out. So I was really skeptical of this film when I first learned about it. I was like, oh, here we go. Crappy writing, crappy, you know, everything. But no, they, they pulled out all the stops. And the more and more The Rock talked about it, and, you know, interviews and all that when he was on the press tour. When when he was talking about all of it, that was when my hype really started to pick up and be like, okay, this film's going to change everything. And I think we all knew that on some level. But not on a level that <laughs> I thought it would be. I knew this film would change a lot. I was not expecting this much. I mean, the sheer just amazingness of this film. I was going to say something else, but I realized it would be a spoiler. The amazingness of this film is just, like, a hundred out of ten. I mean, the film went from, like, a ten in the beginning and then just amped it up to, like, a million by the end of the film. <laughs> like, that's what happened. I mean, it, everything was amazing. Um, I highly doubt anyone who worked on that film was watching this, but... For, this is going to be the first time I think anyone's ever said this. Thank you, WB, DC, The Rock, the entire cast of Black Am for making this amazing film. Um, the CGI department, Jesus Christ, you guys went overtime on this. Um, the writing, the staff, all of you, thank you so much for this amazing film. It was borderline amazing. I mean... I, I, I'm still blown away at it. Like, I, I'm i still so blown away. And this film will definitely change the DCU forever. And it'll be one of those films where, like, in a decade, you look back and be like, this is when a DCU change, you know? This is, like, one of those films that you will never forget in your lifetime. And I'm never going to forget it. I never will. And I'm so glad that I could see this film... That I got to enjoy it for what it is. Which is a masterpiece. And I am so glad as a DC fan that this film happened. <laughs> as a Rock fan, I am so glad this film happened. I think it's one of his best films. I said that already, but I'm saying it again. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> I cannot stress enough. It's an amazing film. And I don't really got anything else to say that won't be spoilers. So... <laughs> Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching the video, have a good day, have a good night, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video, bye guys.